Hello everyone, it's Lambox here again with an update to the Mafia Any% speedrunning tutorial. In this video I'm going to cope strats that have been found out recently and thus did not make it in the first tutorial video. One of them is the solution to everyone's problems when you're a Mafia speedrunner and that is the cutscene at the very last mission Death of Vard at the Grand Stairs. Now we found out a method to trigger that cutscene consistently and it is by far easier than you might have thought. The second one is an alternative method to finish the mission ordinary routine when you shoot the boss through the window and the third one is pretty much a skip of the entire mission Sarah found out by Romero's hers with an updated setup of mine that works out consistently. So without further ado, let's jump into the gameplay. I'm just going to check my settings because I never know if aiming's fine, but it looks fine to me. All right, so let's start with the bigger one. And the solution is pretty easy. You see the forehead, you skip the cutscene. So in fact, you just have to watch the introductory cutscene when you enter the art gallery as long as you don't see Tommy's forehead. If you see his forehead, just press the spacebar or enter to skip the cutscene. Then you just go right at it. And you will see... Ah, I'm getting shot here a little bit. Okay. Boom! There it is. The cutscene. We have looked for so long for a method to trigger it consistently. And it was quite simple, wasn't it? So again, you see his forehead. Boom! Skip the cutscene and go right at it. Vagbella was the one finding that solution. He was playing around with the intro with the introductory cutscene and he said well if we watch the whole cutscene it works every time and then both of us tried to optimize the timing when actually to go for because we are speedruns after all and this is the perfect one if you do it slightly early when you don't see the forehead it does not work consistently so keep that one in mind and since this is actually a real solution to the cutscene bug problem we will remove that rule that says well retries because the cutscene didn't trigger when you reload the mission over and over again do not count into in-game time will be removed so nowadays they do count so to ordinary routine and the alternative method you just run ahead stand next to the barrel and just shoot in the bottom half of the window pretty much on top of the bottom half of the window and just fire up five shots into let's say the top left hand corner of the bottom half it's a little bit difficult to explain but you get the idea when you see it in the window if you don't hear him at all, try to shoot more to the left and not to the right, because that's pretty much a death trap. And here once more, as you can see, next to the barrel, I align there a little bit, shoot in the top left. And with that we go, five shots needed and it's done. If you have problems with the crouching, because sometimes it does not really work and then you miss him all the time, at least that's my experience in the last attempts I did. Okay, so now we come to the real deal of the video, probably the one thing you wanted to see the most, and that is the Sarah skip. So first of all, you have to keep one thing in mind. It does not work as I showed you in the Anna percent tutorial. You have to do a different setup all the way. So here we are at the Moon Knight stroll with Sarah, and in the actual speedrun we just ran ahead at a certain point. I told you I think it was a window after the staircase or after the stairs that you can see on the left but now we have to go the full casual route so we just accompany Sarah you can hold down shift as I do to keep that momentum as Sarah does and just follow her accompany her to the nice guys you will see in the alleyway so yeah you cannot fasten this up by running ahead because if you do Sarah goes backwards or goes towards Salieri's bar and that actually destroys the entire purpose of yeah of the glitch you cannot trigger it you will always fail the mission there you go you see you got talent you might be right anyway it wasn't too pretty i don't like being in the spot okay so we should trigger that cutscene right about now and if you trigger the cutscene, my recommendation is to reload the save game already. That means Sarah's surprise, because it does not work consistently when you actually do it in a run. So yeah, reloaded the save game and now just pretty much look towards the ground, look at the road, at oh, the pavement. I've got else to do today. Just cross the road as you would go to Sarah's apartment later punch a little bit to the air because that somehow manipulates the AI to follow you not really 
follow you into the place you actually are, but they get stuck around that corner and with that punching they actually manage to move along. So yeah, look down, punch sometimes in the air, go to that building, there's Sarah's apartment. We just go out to see if people are following us. We punch against the door and as you can see that nice man in the blue shirt has followed us, so we crouch near Sarah's door, because that was pretty much the trigger for the cutscene later, and we punch that guy. Just punch him a couple of times until he's dead, or when the cutscene triggers earlier it's even better. If he runs away it shouldn't be that problem, but we killed him, we still crouch. Well, we stood up, but it doesn't really matter, and boom! You have to skip that cutscene as soon Very as possible. Nice, yeah, if you don't skip that cutscene, you fail the mission. Because what happens there is actually you fail the mission as soon as you complete the mission. And the game gives you that contradiction as advancing in the mission. So, game is playing a nice game. Alright, so, once more. Just go ahead, just run towards Sarah's apartment. Do not care about the rapists or the bad guys. Sarah can handle them all by herself, don't worry. No, I've got something else to do today. If you get this message a little bit later, that means you will fail the mission. So you have to get it as soon as you get on the road. As you can see, punching a little bit, looking on the sidewalk, pretty much to the ground, punch a couple of times, and then we'll get it inside, punch a little bit more, look out if somebody has followed us because we actually need someone to follow us otherwise it may fail but in this setup always someone will follow you then crouch here and punch them it doesn't matter that there are two guys it really doesn't matter just punch you can even get killed and trigger the cutscene so that's kind of nice and boom he's dead we can pretty much do a side roll again into the wall, it doesn't really matter. And boom! We're at better get used to it. We Very finished nice Sarah without actually defeating close. any of the bad guys except uh, those guys who actually followed us. But as you can see, it proves to be a time save. And it's a pretty huge time save. It can save up to a minute and 40 seconds. On average I would estimate 1 minute and 26 since it's not 100% consistent in timing, but it still is a really nice time save. So yeah, these are the updates I wanted to present in this video. If you have any questions towards any of the things or strats I presented in this video, do not hesitate to ask them in the comments or in the Discord server. I will link an invitation link to the Discord server, that means the Mafia speedrunning Discord server, in the description. And one more thing to remind you, the rule about removing time when timing in-game time because of the retries in the Death of Art will be removed. So from now on, don't forget to watch the cutscene until you see Tommy's forehead. Okay, that's everything I want to say in this video. So see you next time, either in my streams or in another YouTube video. Have fun and cheers!